Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On the series Strategy Game, and we're returning to our Let's Play of Command Modern Air Naval Operations, where we are just under attack by Russia as NATO. So, they, about um, six hours or so into the game, they are launching their second, what I believe to be their second attack, uh, on our vital bridges down here in the Savaki Gap between Kaliningrad and Belarus. So, these, this is where our forces need to come through to defend against the Russian ground forces up over here. That's the backdrop of the game. And we have just witnessed a lot of aircraft taking off. Um, SC-27s are fighters, but SC-24 are definitely ground uh, attack planes. MiG-29s, I think, are ground attack planes. Potentially they are anti-radiation missiles, uh, so they are trying to take out our radi uh, radar installations. I don't quite know that, but I do know that there is a lot of planes coming towards us. So um, all of these are probably two planes, which we can probably see if we zoom in a little bit more. You can sort of maybe see that these guys are, yeah, there there we go. You can actually see that these are two planes flying in very close formation. So if we zoom out again, uh, we do see that this is about 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Don't know if I counted these already. But yeah, it's a lot of aircraft coming in. Um, and I think they are mostly going for this direction. So, we are bringing in a couple of Eurofighters from the German Air Force, a lot of Polish Air Force, uh, F-16s and MiG-29s. All of these guys are over here in the area. We did bring them, we did scramble them pretty much early enough, I hope. We're also bringing in some more uh, F-22s all the way from um, Germany. These are, of course, uh, United, Air Force, uh, United States Air Force uh, planes, but they are coming in from over there. If push comes to shove, we are going to scramble more units from Lithuania over here, there's some Portuguese air forces in there. At the same time, uh, we, there are a couple of uh, surface air missiles flying around over here. I think they're just, they've just missed uh, some of our attacks down here, where we took out a raid installation in Kaliningrad. On the other hand, we do have a torpedo coming in for this ship over there, which is um, sort of stranded off the ocean. So let's see whether that's going to work out. Ooh, I should pause over here. In the theater, we do have a couple of Danish F-16s that are trying to run home. Uh, that's okay. I'm I'm a little bit concerned whether they might be going too high and whether that might invite counterfire, but we'll have to see about that. What I do know is that there are some MiG-29s over here, and these guys definitely do deserve um, to be shot at by our uh, fighters over here, by our Raptors. So let's assign one of the uh, AIM-120Cs, long-range missiles, uh, against these guys. That also means we have to turn on our radar, installation, our radar uh, on these F-22s so that we can get a target lock on these guys. That unfortunately does mean that they are very well spotted. That potentially means that these surface-to-air missiles here, these SA-23s, extremely long-range weapons, um, might be able to attack us. So we'll have to see about that. But we do need to attack against these guys. Ooh, there are even new, new contacts coming in. So they're definitely scrambling a lot of forces over there. Uh, luckily, we are also sending up a couple of forces from our side. You know what? You guys can actually loiter, I believe. I would really, really, really like to take out this SU-24 there at some point. More SU-24s coming this way. These are SU-24s M2s. And these designations do matter. These are, this is Fencer D, this is, this is Fencer F. And this guy here is mainly trying to jam our radar installations. And you can see it's working somewhat on the Raptors. It's not too bad, uh, but yeah. Right, we've launched four missiles. That's actually a little bit more than I would have liked to see. Um, so what I would actually like to do is designate a couple of weapons on this guy just so that we're at least saving them and our units are not uh, firing them off. Because again, this guy is capable of jamming and that is a bit of an issue against us. His MiG-29s, I don't think they're going for this radar installation and I think you are actually not active here. We don't want it to be active, otherwise it's um, too likely that it would um, be able to taken out. Right, more SC-24s being launched from over there. Um, yeah, but I think we are we are launching a couple of more Eurofighters here from Poland, German Air Force Eurofighters that we did forward base there, more F-16s from the Polish Air Force itself. So that should be okay. I think we're also bringing in more units as we go here. There are a couple of Eurofighters there, a couple of F-15s over here. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. Let's see about that. Right. First things first uh, is this attack over here. 
Let's also check whether these missiles in Poland are truly flying all over the place. They kind of are. I hope you're not being engaged over here. You're extremely low. I appreciate that because this missile is actually pretty low as well. 300 feet off the ground. 700. Yeah, it's, it's slightly higher than we are actually. Yeah, but it seems to be passing by, so that's okay. Um, and that does mean you guys can go back to a higher altitude where you are, um, where you can burn your fuel a little bit more efficiently in the higher air. Right, and these guys are just flying wherever. Good. Okay, we've got this bomber here. Um, I would like to use his attack powers on these two raid installations if possible. I kind of think we will not be able to do that. Uh, but I do want to pre-sign that at least and then we're going to try to come in a little bit like that. We might actually do it sort of this way so that we are coming in sort of behind their, their raid installations and that should be okay. Right, there we go. Okay, there are some, oh, some AIMs have overshot their target. I think that's over here. Yeah, let's actually bring you up over here. That should be okay. And let's uh, briefly take care of these. Uh, let's stop here for a second. So, right, these F-16s. So firstly, um, I think we have some F-16s here. Yeah, we do. Um, so let's rename you guys here to uh, the number two. And then you guys here will be renamed to number, uh, you should actually be, oh, it doesn't matter. Um, right, and we'll bring you over here, thank you, and then we've got these Eurofighters, uh, which again are going to come up sort of this way, and I think you are the fourth group of German Air Force Eurofighters uh, that we've got over here, so let's call that name, and let's call you guys, Damn it, why do I always keep on hitting the wrong button? Right, so let's call you four, that's fine. Okay, and you're going to come up this way, that's okay. Lovely. You guys are trying to land. That's nice as well. This missile is flying to nowhere. You guys here are gaining height. You are high as you are. That's great. These missiles have missed, so that's good. You don't really need to waste that many more. These MiG-29s uh, might soon launch at us, actually. Most importantly to me is that we are engaging this guy up there. And um, that'd be lovely. Right, okay. Let's resume time over here and you guys can actually go a little bit faster. Let's go to cruise speed here. These aircrafts have been destroyed. These F-16s did take out another group of two. So we are doing fine so far. But there's so much, so many more aircrafts coming in. So that is a little bit hard on us. Right. You know what? You can go a little bit faster so that we are definitely intercepting them. A little bit better over there. He's probably going to turn around soon, but hopefully at least you're going to be right there. Okay, well, that was a very early launch. Okay, but now, come on, come on, now you guys need to loiter. Just be a lot slower so that you can maintain your target lock um, for the time that we are traveling over here. These guys are traveling at a much higher speed of course so I think that should work out uh, fairly fantastically. That's 20 miles at 60 so that should be okay. More ground based installations up over there. You guys could potentially launch at these MiG-29s or these SC-24s but I would like to take this guy out. Let's see. Right, anything that we do need to take care of down here? Well, you, you guys are fairly high up and you're going to Bornholm. You do have a little bit of a buffer there actually. So what I would like you to do is not immediately come here, but take a little bit of a detour sort of this way. So that you're not getting quite as close to the anti-air installations down here in Kaliningrad. You guys are flying low, you can't do that due to the fuel reserve, so that should be okay. What are you? Oh, you're the Eurofighters. Um, we can actually bring you up to the front. You don't have that many missiles is the issue with you. And I thought of 
thought about keeping you up over here in case they these guys do launch something but they're not doing that for now so that should be okay right let's see whether we can catch this guy he's still traveling fairly slowly I'm still concerned that this guy might launch at us this gladiator these Raptors are very good planes. They're the best planes in the world. Best fighter plane in the world for sure, but I'm not sure whether that's going to be enough. You're fairly high as well. You know, I think we can accelerate a little bit over here. And by a little bit, I mean a factor of two. You guys are all coming over here. That's okay. I would like you to be... You know what, let's maybe take these guys up a little bit more towards the front so that we always have sort of a layer defense. That should be okay. You guys are, are approaching these guys here fairly aggressively. And you know what, you guys here probably need to go speed up a little bit so that we can truly intercept anyone who is coming in here. You have a fairly decent range though, 75 miles. You have a much smaller range actually, 60 miles only. This guy is jamming. I'm not sure whether these missiles here do have the home on capable. Uh, home on jam, yeah, so that's great. That means these guys should be fairly, fairly good at attacking this guy. As long as he's jamming, uh, basically they will home in onto that jamming signal. But, but, but is it gonna be enough? He's cramping up his speed now and he's dropping in altitude, trying to evade these missiles coming in. Wow, it would be so great to, to get him. These missiles now have turned on the active radar seeker, so they are kind of fire and forget, at least on the last mile or so. Um, they can home, oh well, last three miles. How many? Five miles. They can zoom in on that. Yeah, there, there you go. They have locked onto that now. Even though they are being jammed, uh, they can do that. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, miss. Two misses there. That's that's tough luck. Okay. Can I get you to allocate all of your weapons on this guy then? Come on. You can launch, I know that. Are you too too different in altitude, maybe? Come on. Launch! Something is not right, is there? No, everything is on. You should be able to do this. Okay, let's go to military speed here for a second. Maybe it's the speed. So that we, if we kink it up a little bit, it might give more speed to our missile. Doesn't seem to be that. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Somehow this this got deallocated. Okay, that's interesting. There we go. Go back to loitering speed, so that you can at least guide the weapon in all the way. It's always a little bit risky to be that close to these no-fly zones. But yeah, finally probability on our missiles was only about a third, 35 percent. So yeah, not a big surprise that we lost over there, but still not great either. Right, this torpedo is coming in towards the ship. Our aircrafts are coming in over here. Definitely nice to see. You guys do have about an hour in the air over here. That's fine. Maybe I should crank it up a little bit on these raptors. We've got two raptors over here. They could go to the tanker in between. This is more than an hour drive, oh well, flight for them. Let's go up to military speed. Russian ship sunk. Oh, that's over here. Okay, so yeah, that's great. These um, these Finnish missiles are now starting to come towards these Russian ships that, that have been blocking us off for a while over here. And they don't, don't seem to be that great at air defense. So these RB-15s, are these are these Swedish, uh, um, Norwegian missiles? I don't know exactly, but they have definitely been launched by Finland. And four more of these guys are coming in. And it looks a little bit like they are locking on all onto this guy. 
But yeah, it's great to see that that has some impact over there. Let's keep an eye on the Russian aircraft though. And of course on the situation down here. We can zoom out a little bit so that we can see sort of everything. Right, so let's keep an eye on this and this here. And while we're doing that, let's accelerate time. Come on, come on. You must hit. Please, please do that. And you are coming in still a little bit too slowly for my taste. But we might intercept some of the later ones there. Wait, where are you going? Are you going for that radio installation? Okay. All of these guys are approaching, so hopefully it would be a great win. This 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 jammer is is reducing our radar capabilities by quite a bit in in pretty much all of the theater. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. They have locked onto him. Stuff over there is also happening. Okay, um, these raptors are turning around. Let's let's bring them up all the way. Yes, and we have shot down that aircraft, so that's great to see. You're pretty much out of um, missiles. We could bring you home, and that would not necessarily be the worst idea. Also, a ship sunk over there, and another ship sunk. So all of them have been sunk by the Finnish uh, Navy or ground installations. I don't quite know, uh, but that's definitely great to see. Right, so these Raptors, um, again, we could bring them home i guess um but let's actually not do that let's um let's actually bring them out here a little bit and then have them fly over estonia because these have extremely good um sensors so in particular the radar but also the passive the this island this thing here late 2000 te technology that's pretty good let's keep them up over here they will give us a very good idea about all of these aircrafts as they are coming in so that's nice to see Good. They don't. Again, they will not be contributing much in terms of weaponry, but I think that's going to be all right. Um, and you know what? Uh, for a second here, I can turn you to military speed, just so that you're not immediately getting jumped on by these guys' short defenses, short-range defenses. There are these SU-27s, which certainly are a threat. We could go with the. F-15s against these SC-27s. That might not be a bad idea. Because these guys have a fairly capable range of 75 miles or so. These guys only have a range of 70 miles. And then leave the bombers and all of the other stuff here for, for our MiG-29s and Eurofighters. And that could work. Okay, let's uh, adjust our course a little bit over here. Okay, you are definitely... I don't know where you guys are going. You might be going for this radio installation. Again, which is turned off for the moment. Um, but that doesn't mean it will have to stay this way. Okay, come on. RB15 has run out. That's all right. We did take out the jammer, so that's that's the most important thing. And I think over here we'll be fine as well. We can even turn this in a little bit. Yeah, that's great. You're coming close by-ish. But it doesn't seem to be causing too many problems. So, so we might drop our speed soon. Yeah, let's, let's go back to cruise speed so that we have a lot more airworthiness and, and can stay in this area for a much longer time. Great. Good, good stuff. Right, F-15s are coming in, everyone else is coming in. Great, great, great. Yeah, every threat up there has been taken care of. This torpedo here is going to be taken out hopefully soon. This still is a threat to our air, air assets that are coming around, so would actually be great, you know, you guys can sort of go straight that direction. Oh! Damn it. You here. You are coming up higher. You need to be, I think, 10,000 feet high to be launching 
your your bombs and you are seeming to climb so that's great to see oh is that going to be close yeah i think it's going to be all right yeah yeah soon you should be launching come on yeah there we go and immediately the russians are firing up um their anti-air missiles uh historically they have been doing that sort of okay so you go to loitering speed and um, they have been doing that you still have three bombs stop okay um, historically they've been doing this all of them are allocated so why are not launching them right um this is just one bomb can you sort of go this way please and go to medium altitude above ground okay do rise do rise up uh, they've been launching their missiles primarily at the bombs uh, and, and the missiles incoming not so much at the aircraft uh, which always was a little bit surprising but should be okay above sea level there we go more bombs away come on all of them go away launch your bombs so yeah i think these are surface air missiles yeah they are there just look at how fast these guys are it's incredible 2500 right um you have been launching your missiles at this guy but not at this guy why though we've got everything allocated come on launch there we go one more just one more okay turn around go minimum altitude after bonus speed there we go one of the air raid installations down And go go as low as possible, please. You need to come in very low. There we go. So we've taken out the, these raid installations. There are more surface-to-air missiles coming up, and I think they are definitely for our bomber this time. Um, so it's good that he is coming in low and at a very high speed. But he must drop lower much 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 faster come on turn around okay you are fairly low now but i don't think that's going to be enough these guys are definitely tracking you and um, let's go to your doctrine and let's tell you to not evade i know this is counterintuitive but it does mean that maybe he's going to be able to turn around like such. Minimum altitude, please. Come on. Come on. No, no, they are tracking you. You're done for, my friend. You were lucky there, but you're not going to get lucky. You might actually. Come on, turn around. If you're very, very low, the radar can't track you because you're below the horizon. But it really does depend. No, 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 no. Not to refuel point. God damn it. Well, I think it was still worthwhile. We are basically sacrificing a plane over here uh, in return to... Ooh, or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you're going to miss. Okay, go to cruise speed, but do go minimum altitude and do come up over there. Oh, this is great. You might be getting out of here. And we have taken out two of their very prominent raid installations, and that is extremely good news for us. So that's great, actually. Oh, that's nice. We're actually pulling off these SU-27s here a little bit. So they will be trying to intercept these Raptors, which, I, which, which actually is fairly okay to me, because that brings them in, in a little bit more closely towards these uh, F-15s can probably take them out right okay you are coming up there um so let's do it sort of this way and extract you and try to extract it at the very least we also got this strike aircraft which is doing pretty well actually so we could attack the airport don't think we necessarily want or need that could also t attack the radar installation Again, not necessarily the highest priority. 
Although they are definitely tracking our every move, you know, this is the range of their radar installation, so it's covering basically, not basically, in fact all of Poland, well, except this most southerly part, uh, and up to Berlin probably, so yeah, that is a bit of an issue. Right, and um, why are you not going north? Can I ask you to unassign you? On plot, of course. Okay, that's okay. You have a bit of an issue with your loadout. Can you refuel? I mean, you definitely can refuel. The question is only what aircraft do you need to refuel? Is it a drug or is it a boom? It's a boom. But it's still okay, I would say. Maybe we can even go and notch up your altitude a little bit. Or will you be immediately engaged? No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like you will be engaged, so that's great. Good. Um, let's assign weapons to these gentlemen. So what I would like to do is launch at the very least three missiles at each of you. So let's do it like this. And the reason I'm distributing this a little bit is simply so that all of these guys do regain more airworthiness and they can basically come home as a group. Okay, you're doing well. Let's strike aircraft. Shall we take up this raid installation or shall we just try to attack over here? I don't think there's any worthwhile target in in over here. We know no, it's just runway access points. It's the runway itself, the building control tower. Not really that worthwhile. So our best guess might actually be to attack this radar installation. Or maybe this one and that one. Yeah, you know what, let's try that. I don't think it's going to work, but might as well try. Is there a minimum launch altitude for these guys? There is, 10,000 feet. We do have a bit of fuel left, so that's great. This is just trying to sneak in one more attack, as we did with these guys, They're fairly successfully, I have to say. Torpedo, attack, over here. Ah, so they launched an anti-torpedo torpedo. That's that's interesting. That's extremely interesting. Um, have you launched... Okay, let's allocate another weapon over here. It's going to be guided this time, because we are slower than we were. Right, up over here, you're doing this, that's great. Um, let's actually turn on your radar. You guys might actually launch at these Raptors at some not too distant point. Can I convince you to come up a little bit more like this? And then you can sort of come more straight at them. That's great. Good, we do need to stop these SU-24s, uh, and I would really like to do that with these MiG-29s. So let's in fact try to do that. So you gentlemen are gonna crank up your speed a little bit, and we are of course gonna turn on your sensors. You can see these Soviet aircraft is perfect. Oh, no, 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 stop. Stop, what are you doing? Shouldn't be doing that. Okay, let's bring it up a little bit more like that. Right, you're coming up over there, you are going to launch at them, that's going to be cool. We've got these Eurofighters, I think you can take a little bit more of a backseat um, and just loiter. And then these MiG-29s are also going to come forward. Right, perfect, I like it. This one here is almost certainly going to miss because this distance here is just way too great, I think. I think they might just turn away and, and that'd be it. Right, you will be able to launch at these guys up here though. Please don't launch at this one. We do need to take care of them, but not this way probably. Right, this bomber um, could actually, can you actually come in a little bit more like that? You don't need to be quite as close to this ship. Okay, and we got this strike aircraft, nice. Um, you know what, I think you can actually come in at about 10,000 feet. 
More missiles? Where did I hear missiles? Okay, it's on these guys, that's fine. That's of course what we want, actually. Great, it's accelerate time here. Shall we ask ourselves if we can actually get by with going up a little bit higher? Okay, we can. Do, do I think we can go to medium altitude? Let's maybe go to medium altitude at this waypoint. And that should be okay. So these guys, okay, so they are launching missiles now. Um, and I think it might be at these, these F-15s, but it might also be at the Raptors. And the Raptors we do need to keep. Okay, you're launching missiles over there. That's a little bit stupid. They, these guys do have semi-active missiles, so I think we can keep going at them and sort of take them out this way. These raptors, um, we can probably s no, no, no. Let's let's keep going this way, so that we are not running into these missiles. That should be okay, right? Growler has run out out of energy, and um, that's okay. Okay, that's probably one over here. Yeah, that's okay. You launched way too many missiles at these guys. No, these F-15s did launch too much at these guys. You're nearly out of missiles now. But you can keep on guiding them in, so that's at least nice. And I think these guys will soon turn away, uh, and that will mean that their missiles are going to miss. So that's nice. At the very least, they have wasted some missiles. Hmm. Walrus, our... <laughs> Walrus. Which one is Walrus? Yeah, this one. Has run out of battery power. So that to me means you need to go to periscope depth. I think you do have a snorkel. So that you can run your diesel engine. Yeah, you do. You can run your diesel engine while you are below the sea. Just not quite as deep. Right, okay. These missiles up there. And then we have another missile down there, actually. So... Um, yeah, we were a little bit too greedy here. Let's go to a lower altitude, hoping that uh, we might be able to outrun them. Minimum altitude it is. Stop. Some missiles have impacted somewhere. Oh, okay, over here. Uh, well, that's very nice. You're actually launching another missile. Don't necessarily want you to do that. Um, well, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's a single missile for now. It's nice that we have taken out someone over there. But the main target are these guys up there. And you can see five missiles have locked onto the first one and only one to the second one. And now the last one even has. And all of them are missing. Just all of them are missing. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. All of them, really? So we've got, what, three on you? Two on you? How can all of the th them miss? All of them. Seriously, all of them. That's not, that's not sensible at all. Right. Um, you go back to cruise speed. You're now launching your missiles there. You can actually probably turn in a little bit like that towards the south. They're probably going to launch LLs as well. That's all right. Okay, more missiles there. How are you doing? You're extremely low. Let's get you to, to be a little bit fast as well. More missiles. I think that's over here. Yeah. Maybe we're going to get a hit over here. We do need to run this way. Nice. Good hit over there. But we do need to keep a target lock on these guys just to guide in our weapons. Ouch. Yeah, the bomb is maybe not going to make it. We were too greedy. We were too greedy. Ah, damn it. You were a hero, my friend, though. Okay. 
That's all right. Um, you are coming in like that. That's okay. Let's see what's happening over here. Okay, more missiles coming in. So they are launching like mad. Is what what's happening here? Okay, that's 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 perfectly fine. We can go on like this. Our missiles are gonna break up their that their target lock. So these guys are soon going to go nowhere, I believe. Yeah, you can see them self destroying because they lost target lock. Okay, come on, just just hit this time, please. These missiles are something different. Oh shit. Okay, but they are, I think, passing behind us, so that's going to be okay. Come on, come on. Yeah, we broke we broke target lock from us. The very least, we might be able to engage over here. Nope, that one also missed. Damn it. Okay, let's turn off your sensors. And that's okay. Well. Oh dear, oh dear, you're going for the raptors. Oh no! I thought you'd be going for the F-15s. How oh, my, you're just passing by, okay. Whew! AA-10. These missiles are gonna run their course, but they're not gonna go anywhere. In time, at least. I think they're trying to, to catch us, but that's fine. Let's pull the Eurofighters a little bit back. Why we do get on these guys right so we've got one single aircraft over here let's engage that one you're being jammed so you're not quite as uh, we don't quite have the capabilities to engage over there these f-15s were were disappointing i would have thought that you'd take out at least one of these su-27s You guys don't need to go to bingo fuel right now. I think you're reaching bingo fuel soon. Okay, missiles coming in there, that's great. So how do we want to deal with this? Um, speaking of experience, it might be better to come in to launch our stuff late. But then again. Okay, let's, I don't know all of these. Go for the tall wreck. And then we're going to assign another target over here. So that at least both of them are going to launch at the same time. And then soon after we're going to drop in altitude so that we are, hopefully, we're going to be able to run away. I kind of don't think that's going to happen, but... Again, we could also get up here and try to take out this raid installation. But as long as we're not taking care of Kaliningrad, I don't think that's there. there's any point in doing that. Okay, soon we're going to launch. Russian aircraft destroyed. Nice. Okay, you guys. You guys. Come on. I know you can engage them. Okay, this is weird. Right, uh, attack options, attack manual, somewhere, weird. All right, let's take whatever, this one. Okay, to target, briefly check what's going on over here. You're doing that fine, you'll be engaging that one as well. Good. And you will soon launch your second missile, I hope. Yeah, there we go, let's bring it down there on a minimum altitude after burner speed. Returning to base, nice. Bolt striker is dropping things from the target list, that's okay. You're dropping very low now. That's okay. And we are engaging this guy here. Now that's good. One of these SU-27 is returning home. I think it has expended all of its ammunition. So that's nice to see as well. You have, you're engaging this guy with one missile only. Can I actually ask, 
come on, why is this not working anymore? There we go. Uh, also engage with your second missile. And after that you can return home. Good. Right, and I think we are seeing, starting to see subs to air missiles, so they're probably very, very likely going to take out um, our missiles there. It's just not going to work. But still, still, that's nice to see. Right, second missile there, then these uh, Polish MiG-29s can return home. What are you? You're a Eurofighter. Okay, let's bring it up over there. More SC-24s. There's only one fighter left. So you know what? Let's bring our Eurofighters up over there and try to take him out. He's extremely low in altitude. And you don't have that many missiles, but I think that might be okay. You guys also have short-range missiles, but I don't think I would want to use them. Is the issue. Right, come on. Go attack. Do hit, please. We're basically using Russian missiles against Russians there. Right, okay, that's great. And um, then you can return home, I think. Straight home, actually. Oh, let's, uh, let's, yeah, just ask you to be RTB. Let's go away from over here. We've uh, detected a couple of mobile installations. That doesn't matter too much. Yeah, these missiles are definitely going to be engaged. And you're coming home. That's great. Right, and these Eurofighters, you can just go there. You're returning home. There are more Eurofighters coming in like this. And you know what? We are going to bring you up a little bit. There. Yeah. See, they're even only launching single missiles at us. One of them missed. That's nice. Uh, they're going to launch more, so that's not going to be too, too, too nice for us. Yeah. There's the next missile. Okay, that's fine. We did do something. We did lose an F-15, but. All in all, sometimes you lose, sometimes you win, so that's great. Right, next MiG, next batch of MiG-29s is coming in. And I realize we are running a little bit high on the timing here. Uh, but let's actually engage you with two of you. And two of you. So that should hopefully be okay. Yeah, they're not really making their way quite as deep into our territory as they did used to do last time. This guy here, this recon plane, I would also like to take that one out. Should have, should have reserved one of the missiles on the MiG-29s for that. Okay, my friend, um, you are actually are you trying to catch our F-15s. You might well be doing that. Okay, let's get these Germans. Let's get them to fly on high altitude and on cruise speed and try to intercept over here. Yeah, there we go. That missile is gone as well. That's all right. Didn't really think that we'd be doing anything over here. You can go to military speed. No air group that I missed anywhere. You know, the, you are probably tankers here. Yeah, you are. Raptors are coming in at very high speed actually. Um, you can probably drop down to normal speed there, um, but I would like to use you to refuel from over here. That should be okay. Right, good. Good stuff. So, you are going to go in there. Let's turn on your, your radars so that you can actually engage this guy. You You might be coming in a little bit more like that. That's okay. MiG-29s, SC-24s. More SC-27s, so more fighters over there. And there are definitely more coming in. Um, all the way from over here, I think. That's okay. We don't need to fight them all, as long as they are not contributing uh, towards this arrangement up here. I think we are going to be all right. Good. And that was a fairly successful bombing run over here, so I'm fairly happy with this. But it was also the installations that were, are the furthest from their air defenses. So definitely looking forward to um, what we're probably going to do next time. And that is with our base, uh, with our air force over here uh, from the UK, from Germany uh, and from the US. Uh, most importantly, these guys over here with all of their harm missiles, all of their uh, homing anti-radiation missiles. So 
uh, trying to take out their raid installations, trying to take out their air defenses, um, and just trying to really push through over there, um, and hoping, hoping, hoping uh, to maybe take them out properly. But you know what? Um, that's probably going to have to wait until next time. I think over here we're going to be all right. Um, we have enough forces definitively here, I feel now, um, that we can take out um, these incoming SU-24s, probably these MiG-29s as well. And we'll scuffle a little bit, but you know what? It's a little bit similar to what we've done and seen already. And next time uh, we do see each other, we're probably going to fight over Kaliningrad. So, looking very much forward to see you then. Bye-bye, guys.